All right, fifth graders, here we go. Um, to create the loom for your um, pouch weaving or pocket weaving, you have to have cardboard, um, like from a cereal box or like Cheez-Its or something like that, that kind of a cardboard. So once you have that, you need two pieces that are the same size. And mine are close enough to get this video made. So there we go. Um, so we're going to work one piece at a time. And I'm going to zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to, well, before I do that, you have to decide which way you want your um, pouch to orientate. What that means is which way do you want the opening? So like this one, you know, the opening is at the top. So I would have to turn my cardboard that direction, okay? If you wanted the opening to be on the side, then you're going to want to turn your cardboard that direction. So make that decision, and then we can go on. So once you have done that, what we're going to do is we're going to use um, the uh, centimeters or the millimeter side of your ruler. And please note that, yes, I know that this is where the actual centimeter mark uh, starts. Um, but for this first measurement, it's okay. We're just going to use the edge of the ruler. I promise it's going to be okay. So that's what I'm going to do. So this is the top of my, um, my pouch. Okay, you don't have to write the word top. It's just so you know what I'm talking about. Okay, and this is going to be the side. This is going to be the side. And I'm going to lay my ruler, the edge of my ruler, against the top edge of the cardboard. I'm going to try to get it up there as close as I can. There we go. And then I'm going to come down here to the one mark, and I'm going to make a mark right there. We're trying to measure down this far from the top, okay? So I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to make sure, like, right along here is even, and I'm going to mark where the one is. These first measurements are really important. If you don't get them right, you're going to have trouble later on um, when we start to take the weaving off of the um, cardboard. So I'm just going to connect my two marks now with my ruler. Using the ruler is required and important. If you don't do it, it's going to mess you up later on also. So if you can't hold the ruler yourself, have a friend hold it and then hold for them. So there we go. Just going to draw that across the top. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other piece of cardboard. So I'll scooch my ruler down to that edge right there. Come down here to where the one is, make my mark. And then slide my ruler over to this other edge. Make sure they're lined up right along there. And mark that number one. And then I'm going to connect my marks just like that. So now both of my pieces are um, equally measured from the top. Okay, that's important because that will determine like how even your weaving is along this top later on. Okay, so next step. Zoom in for this. There's lots of ways you can do this next um, set of marks. Um, you can do every millimeter. You can do every half millimeter. You can do quarter inches if you want to spin your ruler around. I'm just going with metric because it's just easier. So um, this one is like 12 and a half. So... I'm just going to mark everyone anyway. Okay, so um, there's that. There's that. So where the the hole 
millimeter is, that's where I'm marking each time. If you wanted to, you can mark like every half, um, but for time purposes, that's what I'm going to do. Because this one is like 12 and a half, I'm just going to kind of shoot for the middle here, and I promise you it's going to be fine, okay? It's not going to be the end of the world if those two lines are just a little bit closer together. What is important is that I have the same amount on this one as I do this one. So the easiest way to do that is to take your first one, lay it on top of your other one, and kind of center that up there. And then where this line is, I'm just going to extend it just like that. And that is how you get your loom marked out for um, your pouch or pocket weaving.